Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin and recently we've been doing some videos on getting our micro excavator set up for a project we're going to do. Today we're going to start working on the next phase to get started on that project. Unfortunately we probably won't get with the excavator today at all but what we need to do is I need to get this farm truck fired up and out of the way. The last time I drove this was when my dually went down with head gaskets. I drove it to work and on my way home from work I barely made it home. It was struggling for power and wasn't running right. Every time I tried to go up a hill it would just bog and then I got it to here and it shut off and I have not been able to get it start. It's been sitting here for about six months now. I'm hoping we can get this thing fired so we can get it moved out of the way. Regardless, this thing is moving today whether we have to fire it up, drive it under its own power, or push it. So I could be very, very wrong, but I'm pretty certain we have a fuel delivery issue to this truck. Like I said before, coming up a hill, this thing would bog, doing heavy acceleration, it would bog to the point where I was barely even moving, wouldn't accelerate, wouldn't do anything. So I think we're just lacking fuel. I've had many fuel leaks on this truck and I've been just kind of cutting the line, patching in fuel hose just to get it up and running and keep, keep it moving. So I'm fairly certain that's what it is. I've also had issues in the last two winters with if it gets below freezing, this thing will not start. It's got to maybe have some water in the lines or something. So the plan is we're gonna take the old fuel filter from the dually that we just replaced, swap it out on this guy, put in a remote tank, plumb that directly into the fuel filter and see if we can't get this thing to run on that and just bypass the whole rest of the fuel system. So we're up under the hood now. Here is our fuel filter assembly. This line right here, that should be our in-feed line. So I think all we'll have to do is disconnect this hose, hook the new hose up to it into our temporary tank swap out this filter right here through the wheel well, prime it, crank it a few times, and if we're lucky, this thing should fire run enough for us to get it out of the way. All right, so now we're up underneath the wheel well here. I'm gonna remove this inner fender just to get access to that fuel filter. So there's a few of these little plastic locks that are holding some lines in, sticking through the fender. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push those out. or since I'm not really putting this back together, I can just cut it off. And then I'm gonna have a bunch of these little body clips. All I have is a special little forked tool that gets up underneath that clip. Pry the center section out. and then pull the whole clip out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all those, and then I'll pull this inner fender out, and we'll have access to that filter. Well, we're up underneath the wheel well now, and here is the fuel filter assembly, which is really nice and easy to get at. Here's the line that I was originally gonna tie into, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to change my plans, because that line comes down, goes behind here, all this stuff, and then hits this banjo fitting which is some kind of electronic thing for a common fuel rail. And here's that electronic controller right here for the common fuel rail. So it comes from the bottom of that into the filter and then on the top, there's another banjo fitting right here that runs across the top of the engine and over to where it comes from the tank. So here's where our fuel lines come in from the tank. This one here should be our feed line. This one here should be our return line. I would assume the bigger one would be the feed. I'm not worried about hooking up a return line. A little bit, we're gonna run it. We lose a little bit of fuel in the tank, not a big deal. But I'm hoping what I can do is disconnect this fitting, feed our new hose over this tube right here, and then hopefully everything from there down to the filter, and then from the filter to the injectors is all in good shape, and we can get this thing to run. Heck. 
Well, I tried for a while and I could not get that fuel line apart on top of the engine. I am not gonna spend a ton of time on it. Like I said, this is just trying to get it started to get it moved. I ended up removing the inner fender wall on the driver's side to get access to the fuel lines and right when I finished doing that, it started raining. So it is now two weeks later. We're gonna get back on this truck, see if we can't get it started. If not, we are definitely moving this thing today and just getting it out of the way. I'd really like to get it running because I have some stumps that I gotta pull out from a previous video where I cut down a bunch of lilac bushes and trees. And I think those stump root balls are gonna be too big for my tractor and my excavator, so it'd be nice to have the farm truck fired up so I can use that to pull them out. I really don't wanna use my dually because I don't wanna wreck anything on the dually. I don't care if I wreck something on this. So let's go ahead, spend a little bit of time, see if we can cut in those fuel lines, splice in some rubber line to a tank, and see if we can't get this thing fired up. So these are my two fuel lines right here, my feed and my return line. Originally, I wasn't gonna cut my return line, but I think since I'm working on it right here anyway, I'm gonna cut both of them and just tie them both into the, the new temporary tank. So my plan is just to attach my temporary tank sitting on the bumper and then ratchet strap it to the grill. So I think I'm gonna try to run my line through here by the headlight so that I can still close the hood and still have my fuel lines coming into the fuel tank. So I got my fuel lines hooked up here. I wasn't able to record any of it because by the time I got the camera in here, I got my body, my hands, none of this would have been visible and seen anyway. But all I did was slide the hose over the cut fuel line and tighten down some hose clamps that should hold well enough for me to get this thing started running and out of here. All right, we got our lines run up to the front here. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a gas can, fuel can strapped up to the front of the truck. I got about a little over half a tank, half a can here. See if I can get this stubbed in just above the bottom of the can. All right, it's not pretty, but fuel lines are in. The feed line should be submerged in fuel. Hopefully we can draw from here into the pump. Let's go ahead and replace that filter. We should be able to disconnect this wire here. Pull that out. And then we should be able to just take the filter assembly right off. Connect our wire. All 
All right, now we'll see if we can get the fuel system primed. I'll open up this bleeder screw here. And I should just be able to pump. All right, well, we got fuel to the filter now, which is awesome. I also closed the bleeder and pumped until I stopped hearing air bubbles in the tank on front. I'm sure we still have some air in the system, but hopefully that bled most of it out. Before I go ahead and start cranking this thing though, I'm going to open up this air filter and check and make sure there's no rodent houses in it because I'm sure there is. In fact, as I was bleeding the system, I saw a mouse run across over by the other battery and by the brake booster. So I know that we have rodents in this truck. Yeah, uh, just a small little nest. All right, well, I think we're at the point where we need to try to fire this thing up. Now, I know there's mice in here, like I said before, so I don't know what kind of electronics and wires and stuff are chewed up. This thing still might not fire. I have no idea. But at least we have fuel up to the filter, which was bone dry when we took that apart. So I am very hopeful that this will fire up. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Yes! Ha ha ha! Woo, she fired up! I am so happy and so excited. Let's, uh, let's close the hood and see if this thing will move. It moved! I can't believe it! It moved! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm really happy that it was just a fuel issue to get this thing moving. Really wasn't that bad of a, a setup here to do. Hopefully we can keep this thing running long enough to use it to pull out those big root balls from the lilac bushes. I'll put a clip to those root balls here in the video. I am so, so happy this has moved. I can move it out of the way. We can get a bunch of work done. It's awesome. Well, hopefully you guys found this interesting. If you're interested in seeing the other videos, please subscribe and you can see those. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.